Hi and welcome back to another session from Blender Insight. This time I'm going to show you how to make this effect on your objects, meaning like a thin white line having some glow in the middle which go outside of your object. And this is because I got some feedback when I posted this image on Facebook. Oh wow, how do you do it? Well, it's rather simple, so I think we just get started and then you will see how it will be done. So we start with taking the sphere away and after that we just press Shift A mesh and add a UV sphere. I will not create an apple in this case, I will just show you the technique. So yes, a UV sphere. Uh, we take some modifier on that one, uh, subdivision surface take it to two and some smoothing on that. This will be our object. We can also correct the camera. So I will select the camera, press N. And uh, I think I just put these to zero here and that to 90 and zero. And move it back a bit and then I can also show, show you the camera. So now we have a view camera. Okay, so now that we have the sphere in front of us, uh, now I would like that to glow in the middle and have that light. Um, to do that, uh, you use only a backlight and for the space around the environment, we can just make that bla black. So press the globe here and just take this down and now everything is just black almost. I can see we have something here and that is because I forgot to erase that little lamp over there. We don't need that so take that away. But if I press render now, yes, everything is black. Okay. Uh, the first thing we will do is just add the backlight. And so I press shift A and I do a plane and I just rotate it. So R, uh, X 90 degrees and then uh, G, Y and move it back like this. And uh, if I look at the camera view, you can not see it here, but if you scale it up, you see some of it. And if you do some scaling, always use the apply scale. Uh, but we don't want to see that one. So what we are doing is we go here and we scroll down to cycle settings and we take away camera and shadow and then it will be invisible in the render. But if we provide it with some emission, the emission will be uh, reflected on the sphere here. So yes, we will do that. So I have that plane selected start with some material, press new, call it uh, backlight and change the surface to emission and put that to like two or something like that. And if I now press render here, uh, I have to take it up very much. Now you see there is a thin line here and the reason you cannot see more of course I can take this rather high up like to like 200 and so on and then you will see it but it's not that solution we should do uh, what we should do is have the plane selected and then just scale it so if we press S for scale and drag it up a bit then you can see that if the scale gets bigger you cannot see the plane but you can see the effect of it then the um, edge will be more visible. So you can by using the scale decide where you want it to be. Uh, I don't know, perhaps like here somewhere. And then just press uh, on your mouse button and uh, apply the scale for the plane. Then we have that line outside. And now we're almost finished. Uh, next thing we will do is put some material on the sphere itself. So we take this down here and we select a node editor and we can set this to solid so we have it and now we select the sphere. We press new here 
and we can write sphere here and what we will do now is just take away the diffuse and instead we use shader principled and in principled we have two things that are of interest right now it's the IOR uh, and it's the transmission so if I now press render again and I take up the transmission this means that everything will be uh, transparent so we see the light right through it but uh, the refraction that we uh, that we decide on index of refraction and if we take that to less than one it will reflect like this now you can see what happens so now we only have the light from the backlight in the middle and not on the ends here and we can control how much uh, spread we will use by the roughness here so if we take the roughness all the way up it's not that nice and if we take it to zero it's not that nice so somewhere where we think it's okay then we have what we want here and then it's just for us to put in a base color here whatever we want to use and when we are satisfied we can of course put in a texture here so if we want a lot of colors and nice things we can do like this put in texture noise texture take the value from that and that you, then you get this so it's up to you what type of color you would like to put into this one uh, yeah I can keep that um, how much you want this to shine and so on well that you can decide on the plane here by uh, releasing putting more strength into it or less strength into it so that is the first step now you have uh, something shining in the middle uh, you have that uh, nice ring around and it's just for you to uh, render everything uh, when you do the render here you are almost finished and now I'm just pressing preview so it's not that nice uh, you can of course go into sampling and you can uh, select final here or put in whatever numbers you want here to get this uh, much better uh, as I said before I will just show you the technique behind it okay so we have an image but it's not glowing outside so what to do yes we are now going to use the compositor so we press here and we use use notes backdrop auto render then we have everything prepared if we want it and all we have to do now is to put in uh, using shift a um, let's see if we can find it uh, filter and a glare filter and put that in between here and now you can see everything is gl using glare but we're using streaks here uh, we have an effect but not the effect that I want so I in select ghost instead and by selecting ghost now you can see it's spreading there and if I then take the threshold down a bit it will get stronger and strength string stronger and stronger spread out like this and you will get that nice feeling you can also mix uh, the image behind to get rid of everything like that and now you have as you can see an image almost like the one that I did uh, of course I use uh, multiple colors here I don't use an apple and so on and that I the reason that I got like uh, if I take up that one again if I get, get a heart shape here is of course because we have like a heart shape on the apple so if you want a heart inside well just shape the outer object like a heart and then it will be fine here so uh, that is almost all you have to do and if you want to have like uh, some extra effect then you can of course combine this with also like uh, sunbeam uh, I think I've done that a couple of times on a previous tutorial so I can do it once more if you want to it's just to press filter here put in sunbeam uh, take the same image uh, 
and mix it with the color here and put it in and the ray length in the middle decide how it will look and now you can see you can control it rather much and then just mix it up here and of course you have a lot of selections up here so it's uh, yeah up to you how you would, would like to use them you can use add or something like that and then you get this rather nice image here uh, so that is all you have to do uh, to get this image and uh, if you use one clear color it will be more effectful than using uh, a mix of color that I have here but of course that's up to you exactly how you would like to do it and that's the simple technique behind um, doing an image like this so I hope that you uh, have learned something and that you will use it and also that you if you're not a member uh, click so you will be a member and that you enjoyed what you have seen okay thank you for this time and i'll be back with a new tutorial soon okay bye